Welcome to this edition of Education Briefs, brought to you by the New Jersey Association of School Administrators, which is comprised of chief education officers and school administrators representing school districts throughout New Jersey. Here is Dr. Richard Baza, Executive Director of the NJASA. There's a proposed amendment under consideration at the State House. It's to relax certification requirements for superintendents in some New Jersey school districts. The idea is to widen the pool of candidates who can become superintendents. The amendment would allow someone with a bachelor's degree and some management experience to oversee a school district. It's supposed to be the antidote for failing schools, but it's not. Watering down the superintendent certification process is like saying, let's loosen the requirements for being a physician. This way we can get more doctors in the places we need them most. It simply doesn't work. Likewise, we need an individual who understands teaching and learning to oversee a community of learners. Under current law, the superintendent certification is an extensive process. It includes testing, an internship, and one year of mentoring. Candidates must possess a master's degree and educational experience. The proposed amendment puts a talented individual without experience in education in a leadership role in a failing school district. That individual may be a brilliant businessman or an award-winning scientist. However, without the right background, that person faces additional challenges in learning what works and what doesn't with the district and the students paying the ultimate price if he or she fails. The current certification guidelines are necessary. They prepare school administrators for the critical role we play in school districts. This includes reaching state and national performance benchmarks, establishing safe and secure learning environments, and leading school staff to higher achievement. This also includes managing budgets and partnering with the local community to lead the state in the development of a well-educated workforce. Instead of relaxing certification requirements, let's invest in our current staff. Then we can move teachers and principals up the professional ladder towards school leadership. That will ultimately help to widen the pool for superintendents who are well qualified to turn around failing school districts. New Jersey's Chief Education Officers moving education forward. To learn more about New Jersey's Chief Education Officers, visit us at the web at njasa.net.